in Somalia's political, economic, uh, and social future. And I think if there's one message coming through, it's an appeal for a more structured approach to ensuring that engagement. There is no shortage of issues, uh, but there's a sense that there could be a more deliberate and structured way in which the government can benefit from the intellectual capacity, the financial resources, uh, and all the other attributes that civil society and the diaspora has. And so I think what you know, some of us are being asked to do is to huddle after this meeting and work with colleagues to figure out what those more structured approaches would be, whether they're around the constitutional review, whether they're around security, whether they're around uh, boosting investment and economic growth, whether they're around reconciliation uh, or building capacity. So let me just stop on that note and say uh, what a great meeting and I'm so grateful to everybody who has come to it because we're going to have a long to-do list to come out of this and we certainly want to work with you Mr. President and your government uh, to make sure that the fabulous potential uh, of the diaspora and civil society is fully realized uh, in the months and years ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. I think I have one more possible speaker and then we have a couple of minutes for other interventions and I'll hand over to uh, the President. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, do we have Abdi Sattar Gila in the room? Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, as a federal government of states, we really had many fruitful discussion here. This discussion has been very important for us, and I hope we will address all the suggestions and the challenges you raised. Uh, to broaden the discussion and to share with you the vision of federal government of Somalia, uh, federal government of Somalia to see, want to see more Somali diaspora investment into Somalia, with in line on government priorities. Well, we would love to see more knowledge and expert transfer to Somalia with good cooperation of civil society and government under the guideline of government policies. And uh, lastly, and the most important part, we would like to see uh, Somali diaspora uh, taking part action and advocating the, the, the interest of Somali people and urgent issues in Somalia. Uh, uh, we are aware of all the challenges you are seeing, uh, but this government has come and enjoys with the wider support of Somali diaspora, and I hope you will see from us something that really addresses all that issue. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed for that response. We had some very, very good constructive uh, contributions there about knowledge, about reconciliation, about harnessing the energy and enthusiasm and to make it practical and structured. Thank you very much indeed for your response and I'll hand back uh, to the Deputy Prime Minister. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much uh, uh, everyone. Before I invite the President to close, I, Mr. President, uh, it's, a, it's an honor for me to welcome you to this session on diaspora and civil society organization and youth as well. We have a very good and fruitful discussion on uh, diaspora contribution on academic, political, and humanitarian interventions and building trust between the role of the, between the diaspora and, 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 and civil society and also the youth. Uh, we discussed it, uh, the participation of women in decision-making, peace and governance, uh, the relationship between diaspora and local youth, uh, the integration of the Somali diaspora uh, in their respective countries, uh, and, and how the Somali youth uh, are now uh, currently leaders of the country, not only the future leaders of uh, Somalia, but already they have a positive role to play. Uh, I would like to conclude in a couple of words. Uh, the discussions were really fruitful, uh, and the way forward for the federal government is uh, that we do more investment, uh, not, in fact, not transfer from the diaspora. But I would like to remind you that this government is only 40 days old. Uh, we were approved uh, by the House of uh, 
uh, represent that feast on the, uh, in the first day of April. President Farmacho was elected 8 February, and in two weeks' time, he appointed a prime minister who in, who, who in three weeks' time appointed also, formed a cabinet. Uh, but we, we take stock of the positive contribution of this discussion and the novel ideas put forward. Uh, now I will welcome the President to conclude. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Prime Minister. It's a great honor for me to be here today, this event, on the Aspera and Civil Society contribution to Somalia. Uh, excellencies and distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to thank you all for organizing and participating in this event on the Aspera and Civil Society contribution to Somalia. The Federal Government of Somalia do acknowledge the effort and support that Somali diaspora do provide to Somali people. Somali diaspora had always been and still is one of the main contributors to Somalia. They bring much needed capital, investment and knowledge expertise into Somalia. I am glad to announce that the federal government of Somalia will establish National Diaspora Agency, NDA, and will help and facilitate more diaspora contribution into Somalia. On the other hand, the federal government of Somalia does acknowledge the positive contribution made by Somali civil society to Somalia. My government will address the challenges that Somalia, that the Somali civil society face and facilitate their positive contribution to Somalia. I want to make just a few, just one announcement. Tonight we have a big event, and I will speak with all Somali community here in London. I wanted to invite you, all diaspora and civil society tonight, and I think it will be a great and more discussion uh, event. Thank you. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for a brilliant start to, uh, to the conference.